guys, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. I'm Daryl Smith and today we are going to be doing some rotisserie chicken. Well, not today, tomorrow. First, we are going to brine our chicken. Now, what we're going to brine our chicken in today is a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of kosher salt, a couple of cups of water, and the rest of our liquid will be this wine called Country Red Sweet Red Wine. And this is from the St. James Winery. So if you want to check out St. James Winery, I'll put the link down in the description block. You guys have seen our previous video where we uh, cooked with their peach wine that they sent us. Well, this is their Country Red Sweet Red Wine. So I call this dish, particular dish here, um, Country Red Yardbird, okay? so. And we're going to be cooking this on the rotisserie uh, tomorrow once this brines for about 24 to 36 hours, okay? So, it's very simple. Um, what we have here, we have our, our chicken that's been washed and been cleaned up. All the gizzards and guts and stuff have been taken out of it. And cut the tail off and cut the excess skin around the edges off. And so she's ready to brine. I got my vertical container. And you guys heard me talk about brining in a vertical container before because you use less liquid instead of one of those wide, long, deep ones, okay? So this here is a mixture of one fourth cup of kosher salt, one fourth cup of brown sugar, and two cups of cold water, and I just let the brown sugar and the salt dissolve, okay? And we are going to pour this in here first, okay? And we are going to finish the liquid off with the country red sweet wine, okay? So, what I'm shooting for is that the, uh, the osmosis and the salt and the sugar and the sweetness of the wine, you got that nice berry flavor, that berry smell to it, and the sweetness of the wine will um, penetrate the chicken over the next 36 hours or so and give us a nice a fruitful flavor and then I'll show you the rub that we're going to use to sprinkle on the inside and the outside of the bird uh, before we put it on the rotisserie. Uh, we also plan on stuffing this bird with probably a little bit of rosemary and maybe a few other aromatics, some onions and lemons and things uh, just to kind of give us the full uh, aromatic effect of the, the chicken to season the meat from the inside out. Okay, so hey, don't go nowhere. Come back and we will show you exactly how this yard bird goes around and around and around on our Weber. Don't go nowhere. All right, guys, so we are back now. It's been about 24, 30 hours or so that our chicken has been brining in our wine, brown sugar, kosher salt solution, okay? And take a look at this. You can see that the wine has penetrated the meat, the skin and some of the meat are a pinkish color, which means that the berry flavored wine penetrated into the meat. And if you can smell it, it smells just like the wine. It's got a sweet smell. It's uh, got this, uh, this berry-like uh, smell. It, it smells fantastic. So I'm very, very eager to taste this when it comes off of the, the grill. So since we have a sweet component that has been absorbed into the chicken, we're going to balance that out with a savory rub. The rub that we're going to be using today is called Milwaukee Iron Seasoning. Now this is from the good folks at the Spice House out in Chicago. They sent me a bunch of spices and we've been using them throughout the year. Fantastic products. Check those guys out. I'll put the link down at the bottom of the description block and here on the screen. Um, those guys have an excellent um, array of choices of spices that you might be interested in buying, okay? So, we've already got our uh, chicken uh, trusted up, tied up. I got the legs and the uh, wings tied to the body, okay? So we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of olive oil all over the bird, okay? Now, what I'm hoping is that the olive oil not only will help the skin get crispy, but, will uh, act as a, a binding agent for the rub, okay? So, let's get this all taken care of. Okay. Let's 
get it sprinkled down. Now, of course, none of the seasoning that's hitting the skin is going to make it into the meat because the skin is acting as a barrier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to season the outside of the chicken very well. And then we're going to season the inside of the cavity. So this savory rub and seasoning can try to penetrate from the inside out. Okay. Now we have the Weber already set up outside on the deck. And we're going to be using a, the rotisserie system from the company called Only Fire. They sent us the rotisserie system to try out. You guys remember our video a while back. Uh, I'll put the I card at the top here so you guys can go back and check that out. Uh, plus, we're using our heat source is going to be coming from uh, the good folks at Adrenaline Barbecue. We're using the slow and sear as our heat source. So, uh, I'm going to be wanting to do this low and slow. So, hopefully, we can control our heat properly. All right. So, let me go ahead and finish getting this bad boy seasoned. We're getting it ready. We get it all. Um, impaled on the rotisserie rod and we'll see you out on the deck uh, and get things started so hey don't go nowhere Okay guys, so we're done with our cook. We uh, let our chicken cook to an internal temperature between 165 and 170 degrees. It smells wonderful. Uh, let me give you a close-up look at this. As you can see, uh, it's got a couple of different uh, uh, dark charred areas, but it got a nice brown mahogany color. The skin does look pretty crispy, so I can't wait to taste that. And uh, it looks very, very juicy. So, uh, normally I don't let my chicken rest this long, but since I'm really uh, working today, I had to let my chicken rest for over an hour. So, um, it's been sitting uh, on the cutting board for over 60 minutes, so hopefully it's still kind of warm, or hopefully it's lukewarm, and we can get some good flavor out of it, okay? So, we cook this with uh, peach wood chunks, okay? And... Um, Seems that worked out pretty well. We're trying to keep that whole fruit um, theme going, okay? So let's see how this Milwaukee Iron Seasoning from uh, the Spice House worked out. And let's see how we did, okay? So let's cut into this bad boy. No, it's still juicy. That's for sure. Still juicy. Breast meat. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's go ahead and have a taste test. All right, so we'll go ahead and get a piece of the breast. And I can still smell the wine from the brine. It smells great. Let's see if we can taste the wine flavor. <laughs> yeah, 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 that seemed to work out real well. I can definitely taste the sweet red wine that the chicken was brined in right down through the meat. And the uh, savory rub and the uh, 
in addition to the salt that was in the brine, definitely complements the sweetness of the meat. Wow. Mm, this was definitely an excellent cook. So, okay, so let's recap a little bit. We did a chicken and a rotisserie. The rotisserie we used was from a company called Only Fire. But you don't have to use that particular recipe. I'll put the link to it down there in the description block just in case you're interested. So, also we used the, the Slow and Sear from uh, Adrenaline and Barbecue. Great products. Uh, Great customer service, so check those guys out. I'll put the link to their website down in the description block. Um, also, the rub that we use from uh, Milwaukee, I'm sorry, from the Spice House out in Chicago is called Milwaukee Iron Seasoning. I'll put a link for them down in the description block also. They have some fabulous products, so check those guys out. And last but not least, St. James Winery. My wife and I are going to have to get up and go drive out there. They're about two hours from the house and go take a tour of St. James Winery, but they have some uh, some great products, and uh, this wine, this sweet red, country red wine here worked out fabulous for this chicken. So, well, that's all we have time for today. Uh, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire, and if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, today we're drinking Cayman Jack Margarita. They're not sponsoring this video, but hey, you guys know we always like to try new and different libations with our cooking. So, hey, as always, see you guys around the smoker. Mm. Damn, me used to that.